Hey, uh, welcome to my show. Let me turn this thing on. I'm using the Mevo. It's a uh, event live streaming camera. So I'm going to try this to see if it actually works and how well it does work. Uh, anyway, my name is Sean Simons, and welcome to With the Grid, which is a little bit different than Off the Grid. Off the Grid is like, you know, staying away from uh, the grid and other people and going out and doing your own thing. What I'm talking about being on the grid is more like, let's see what we can do with the community and uh, stay on the grid and help the grid even more. I mean, a lot of people on the grid, let's help them out. So one of the things that I was thinking about is the uh, aquaponic system. And this is my aquaponic system. It's, it has um, two grow beds and it has three different, um, well, I guess water reservoirs. Let's go around so I can show you what's going on over here. Well, first of all, we have a grow bed here. And we have another grow bed over here. As you can see, um, I've had some horned worms that ate this up. But it did produce a lot of tomatoes for me. And over here I got plenty of melons all sorts of crazy melons i threw in a bunch of seeds and let them all grow so why is this the way it is there's another one back there so the question is why did i let this all grow the way it is well actually i didn't um, i went to mexico for a couple of months and I set this all up to where I wouldn't have to worry about this thing at all for at least two months and the only thing that people would have to do to help me out while I'm gone is to um, feed them feed the fish, feed the tilapia we got a going over here I have this netting on because believe it or not there are critters that um, love to eat tilapia go figure right and I have my breeding tank here a couple of heavy sediment collectors here and my sump so how did this how does this all work? Very, very easy, very, very interesting. And it's on the third month of me not doing anything at all. Um, and the water's still crystal clear and it produces amazing. Can you see how crystal clear that is? Probably not because of the glare. Sorry about that. <clears throat> And there's some goldfish in the back. I'm outside, so I don't know how well my Wi-Fi is streaming this. And I apologize if it's not working very well. So what I have is this main sump tank right here where I keep goldfish and minnows to keep things nice and clean. I have two pumps that are submerged. And they go up. And into my tilapia tank. Now, from the tilapia tank, I have a big two inch container or tube that comes out and it flows into this first sediment um, garbage can. Then I have another one that comes out and we can follow it and it goes all the way over to that grow bed. And that just dumps water straight in from the tilapia tank. And then I have this little small um, hole that you see right there that goes over into this grow bed. Each of the grow beds has a bell siphon. 
And let me tell you real quick about how I've made this to where I don't have to worry about anything. This other pipe that comes out and just goes in here is an emergency overflow, just in case that little one that just sort of bends at 90 degrees. That's my emergency one, so in case something clogs this up, instead of water coming up and overflowing and I lose all my water and fish and everything, that will hopefully carry the extra water into here. That big hole right there actually sucks, well, skims off the good clean water off the top. And then it flows into this second one. And this does the same thing. All the sediments will go to down to the bottom and it will skim off the top and go into that particular sump tank. I have an overflow on my breeder tank here and the overflow keeps my breeder tank at a constant level and it flows over there too. If it rains, I got a collection, that blue container right there collects up to seven gallons that will overflow and I get to keep it and put it back after the rain or when it goes down a little bit. And then I have a tap water um, tank that I just put tap water in and then that pump in there, I will pump water from here when I need it into the sump tank. All of my aquaponic systems have emergency overflows. And because there's so much over here, I don't know if I can actually show you all of my emergency overflows. Um, let's see. If something, if this bell siphon over here clogs up, I got uh, two emergency overflows. And it basically will come out of the row bed and flow right into the breeder tank. I got another one over here. As you can see, uh, that's emergency overflow. If, if this overflows, instead of it just overflowing, it will flow back into the tank. That's to make sure that in any catastrophic event, I don't lose any water. That's that's the scary part. Is when you come out the next day or you're gone for a, a weekend and you come back and all of your water's been pumped out. Now, if the pumps go out, and that's the whole reason why I have two different pumps. One pump goes out, no problem. It just flows at half the rate. That's why I have two two different pumps down there into this tank. This is. All like a waterfall all of the water gets pumped up into the big tilapia tank and all the water from here then is dispersed into the grow bed into a heavy sediment uh, garbage um, container the clean water is then sucked up from the top into a grow bed and the bigger one into this, which is another overflow. And then of course, then we have an overflow here that keeps this all at the same level. And then everything goes in here. This is the only one, my little goldfish tank, the little sump tank, that I have to actually watch the level. That's This is the only one that actually changes water level. I also have a black hose that goes from there into this, which actually draws up water when necessary, and now those two are at the same water level. If I want to actually add water to that, what I do is I just plug in my pump. Let's see if I can do this with one hand here. Come on, it's not that difficult, right? Maybe it is difficult. 
Don't get electrocuted. All right. So we got the pump going, and now the pump is pumping my tap water that I had in here into my goldfish or sump tank. Once it gets high enough, it's going to reach the level of the overflow. And at that point, I go turn on the tap water and fill this up all the way to the top. The little bit of tap water that does get into the system doesn't affect anything at all. Matter of fact, since this is so close to the top over there, I'm going to go and turn on the water. <clears throat> this used to be my my garden. However, this produces so much more. I've sort of let that grow. Grow grass. Alright, so now water is continuing to pump into there from my tap tank. And in just a second, I'm going to unplug this and then let the water continue to fill up my cooler. I can actually show you that once it gets to a certain level in here, water starts draining into my 7 gallon overflow tank. The height is just a little bit off to where I could, if, if I could, I would have made the pipe go from there all the way to this, but it's just a little bit off. I'd actually have to cut some of my my cooler, and I don't want to destroy my cooler because it still works. <clears throat> so anyways, once the water gets up to a certain level, you can see it starts to drip and flow into there instead of flowing over, and I don't worry about losing um, any water that flows into my system. The uh, this particular pump or if it rains so I can collect up to seven gallons which is really cool so now I'm going to fill this up and the reason why I'm filling this up with tap water is because you know after a couple of days and I actually use it it's pretty much biologically okay I let things grow in there and um, I'll even transfer some of the the water from here into here just to make sure that that stays biologically uh, good for everything so anyways, thank you very much for watching this live stream on my channel that I need to do more stuff on. This is my With The Grid aquaponic system. The reason why I call it With The Grid is because I'm actually using electricity. Um, we've been giving away a lot of tomatoes to our church. And there's plenty of fish in here that we can fillet up and have a nice... Um, I guess party with our friends and then this winter time I'm not sure what I'm going to do I think I'm going to just have this tank with goldfish and that grow bed with nothing in it maybe maybe some things and then put a tent over this and disconnect that other grow bed during the winter time that way I can keep this all at a um, decent temperature to where the goldfish can live or I'm just going to shut it all down and we'll start it up early when it gets nice and uh, warm. Get in there and stay. So anyways, that's my system. If you have any questions, please leave comments below. And I'll be doing more live events, so you'll actually be able to talk with me live while I'm doing this. And showing you other fun projects that I have going on that keeps me with the grid. Anyways, have a great day, and I hope that this helped you out.